Oops. <laughs> so, uh, something happened. <laughs> explanation announcement whatever video honestly I am forever shocked by the level some of you care <laughs> about what happens in my life sometimes I feel like I'm just making these videos and I'm like who's actually watching or who actually wants to know these things uh you do I have been getting tagged in so many comments so many DMS saying like what the heck is going on you moved out we need to know everything. So I'm gonna give you the uh, spiel. I did. I moved out of the house I've been in for almost four years, which is just insane to think it's been that long. because I feel like everyone's first reaction is like, oh my gosh, you moved out, like what happened? Like tell us the tea, what's the drama? I'm so sorry to disappoint, but there is nothing juicy about this story whatsoever. They are still my absolute favorite humans. We have so much love and respect for each other. It just genuinely was like the most uh, fluid, like peaceful, just right move for all of us. If you don't know, I'm from Orange County, like grew up there. I still have like a job and it's in Orange County. My family's in Orange County. Most of my friends are in Orange County. And I growing up always said that like I had no desire to live in LA, like never saw myself living there. But just the way like life's momentum kind of went, I got offered this opportunity to live with my besties. And of course, like I jumped on it, but still was community and still was driving down often to spend time with my family, especially my nephew Axel. So it was just a lot of back and forth and it kind of made me feel like I had these like two split people. And then like COVID hit, so it was like just the biggest blessing to be able to be like locked in a house of people that I love so much. You know, we have lived so much life together. Like I will never forget this chapter of life. Like we all went through pretty much like collectively in different ways like our lowest points and also a lot of super high points and it was so cool that I could be physically there and experiencing life with them in this chapter I just don't think I am meant for living in LA <laughs> like it's just a specific type of flow it's like its own culture and I just like I don't thrive there I love LA and I do think you know thanks to Alicia and Ashley I found the most pure genuine like pocket of people 
people in LA and I love every single one of them but I just don't think that I am meant to like reside there full time and and that's okay and I think that's what is so exciting about life is like you try things and you step into seasons and then you figure it out and I had just kind of been feeling this pull that I wanted to be back in Orange County and I wanted to be closer to family I was so scared to talk about it with Alicia and Ashley we had like a roommate dinner and I didn't even have to like really even say it like we just started this really big conversation I mentioned to them how my brother Ryan was like let's get an apartment together kind of in a joking fashion but when he said that I was kind of like wait that sounds like so fun Ashley like at the table when I said it was like wait why does that sound perfect and Alicia had like said to me you're driving so much like if you ever want to go back like I think like you should do it and so it was just this very like organic conversation and we all just talked about how we feel like we're in this place in our life we're ending a chapter and we're starting a new one and it has nothing to do with ending friendships or distance and friendships it's purely like just things happening in our lives this was so meant to be and honestly it's been so solidified because not only am I so genuinely happy like it makes me want to cry like I feel like myself right now and like that's been amazing but also like I feel like my friendship with Ashley and Alicia like has gotten closer because now like we miss each other and we want to talk to each other I still drive out to LA every week to record the podcast and usually on those days like we'll spend time with them and do lunch or dinner or whatever or go to my <laughs> manicures Danny because I miss him too and it's just been like this really beautiful thing to where now like LA is exciting like I'm excited to go there and have fun times and see my friends and then come back home and like I think that's what it was meant to be at this time in my life so I got an apartment I'm living with my brother and it's so much fun Charles is he's he's slowly adapting I will say um, he is a grumpy old man and he's dealt with this the hardest but we're slowly getting there and yeah so no drama no hard feelings still my freaking my girls my heart my family will still be seeing them so often nothing's changing with the podcast nothing's changing with content in fact I feel like I'll be able to do more because I'm not spending so much time like driving back and forth yeah that's the sitch and honestly thank you so much for caring so much and I hope this like answered any questions I will give you the most mini tour ever because you know how much of a nester I am and I'm still like working things out but I will let you kind of just see the place because I know everyone's been like really curious about it I'm in love like I'm obsessed it feels like home already I've only been here a couple weeks so um, that's really exciting so here's my new apartment okay so here is the kitchen this is an island that's movable which is just so cool like I haven't heard about that before so love that everything was like pretty much new when we moved in which was so nice I will be doing a video because almost everything is like from Amazon but definitely going for just like that minimal like like black silver gray look so that's the kitchen from the kitchen is then the living room over here just got this couch and I'm obsessed with it the two ottomans move so you can like squish them together to make it like a big bed like hangout area for watching movies and stuff just got this so still working on like what it's gonna look like and then we got a new TV which has been great you have a little patio still working on decorating that I never was allowed to display my Legos uh, before, but now this is my this is my place. I can put my Legos wherever I want. I got two ladder shelves. I still don't know, and I probably will like rearrange everything like 20 times. But as of now, I'm pretty happy with the way it looks. So I'm gonna show you. Here she is, the beaut. Like, tell me that's not so cute. Like, it just goes with everything. And then I just have a couple of, like, my fave Lego pieces in there. Um, the rest of them are in my room. And there's more to come. Like, I'm building stuff that I probably will put there. But, yeah, love it. Okay, so from here, you go in here. This is just, like, a storage closet. This is Ryan's room. I'm not going to show you that. This is a washer dryer, which was, like, honestly, my freaking deal breaker. Hey. This is Ryan's bathroom slash guest room. Gonna work on all the decor and stuff, and there's like a bath shower. And on this 
side is my little suite. I still don't have a bed frame. That's like my last major piece of furniture I need to get. On this side is my dresser. I'm not sure if I'm gonna get a TV or not. And then obviously still working on decorating that. Charlie's little section. And then my bathroom. Still kind of getting situated here. I have a shower slash bathtub. And yeah. So yeah, I am obsessed. I hope you guys liked it too. I will keep you posted on all the updates, all the new decorations and things. And yes, I'm beyond stoked. I hope this answered all your curious questions. But like I said, if you want to leave questions, I'll try to answer all of them. And yes, okay, <laughs> bye.